I was on my way back from the salon. Thought to check on you guys. Mm. I hope you haven't missed me much. I missed you. Oh, I've been missing you too. Oh. Hey, and your eyes so lovely. Oh, thanks. I was expecting you to say that. So how are the patients? Well, fine. They're all responding to treatment. Okay, and the doctor? He went for a meeting. Oh, I hope you're enjoying your leave. No, I'm not. The two two days I spent at home seems like two years. Oh, it feels like I'm the only person in the world. Mm, so sorry. You should have called one of your friends so that you just hook up and have some nice time, you know. No, Sarisa, you talk like you don't know Nasabi girl. She doesn't have any friend. We are the only two people who can put up with her in the whole world. So we are the friends she has. No, Siti, please don't start with me. <laughs> or maybe you should have called up your boyfriend. And you know to call up your boyfriend is only when you have one. Good afternoon, nurses. Oh, good afternoon. I would like to see the doctor. Okay, he's not on seat. Do you have an appointment? No. Okay, um, he's not on seat right now. Do you want to wait for him? No. Can we see one of you nurses privately? Mm. Mm. All right then. Um, let me attend to them. Hey, Miss Abigail, you have a dirty mind. You might be wrong, you know. You two, you have a dirty mind. So how would you know what I'm thinking? I did not tell you I know what you're thinking. Of course you do. If not, you wouldn't say I had a dirty mind. Because that's what makes you not Abigail. You are full of pessimism. Mm -hmm. Thank you, but seriously, are you trying to tell me you don't know why they're here? Do you? No, I don't. Then you're naive. Ah, you've been a nurse long enough to know what's wrong with a patient by merely looking at them. It's written all over their face. Are you that daft? No, Sabi girl, listen. I have not had any reason to exchange or argue words with anybody since morning. So please. Ah. I warned you not to start with me. You called me a lonely lady. Me? When? You said I don't have a boyfriend, neither do I have a friend. I have been enjoying my day until you walked in here a few minutes ago. You are on leave. And leave simply means don't come to work. So please, you can leave quietly. You have overstayed your welcome. You just said you missed me when I walked in. I did not miss you. I was only trying to sound nice. Mm -hmm. And the truth is, this place has been so, so peaceful without you. Whatever. I'm gonna sit here. Sit. To confirm my suspicion about the lady and the guy that just walked in. You miss me here when you come out, eh? Nurse, please, if it is about money. Click this. Keep your money. Nurse, please. We've made a very big mistake. And we can't keep this pregnancy. We want you to get rid of it. If this 10,000 is not enough, I can get you more money. You see, when both of you walked in here, I prayed to God not to allow this be the case. Permit my curiosity. How old are you? I'm 22. And you? I'm 18. <sighs> Nurse, please. We admit it is a mistake. And we want you to help us. We have been to five different hospitals and they all say it's illegal. Our parents must not know about this. Please. Sorry. Listen, like you rightly told in other hospitals, it's illegal. I'm sorry, I can't help you. Nurse, no, please. This is going to destroy my future and I just got admission into the university. Seriously, I can't tell how heavy my heart is. To see two young innocent people jeopardize their future ignorantly, it's disheartening.
What is taking of Teresa forever? She didn't dare see for the girl or what? Hi! Your mind is so corrupt. I can't wait to just see your disappointed face when you realize what you say is wrong. Mm, you want to bet? No. Then you know what I'm saying is right. Ah, ah, Nasabi, ah, what do you can't do for work today? Say, be your leave. Ah, yes. But I figured you guys will be missing me, so I decided to come around. Oh, Daba. No, you're, no. you're here welcome. because you don't have any friend or a boyfriend. And you're so, so bad. Don't start with me. Don't make me hit you. Uh. And <laughs> city, the person is where they were there. He said, Make I call you. Say, I hey, the turn up. Make you come quick, go keep for medicine before you go for me again. No, me, I don't tell you to do and clean for me. That one is part of your job, so do it. Sir, so, quick, go answer them. Me, I won't go work, sir, and be sit for back there. Go and do your job. I'm not having your please. I'll be right back, okay? Ah, see, you know I am off duty. Don't make me wait, oh, I will just leave. I know you cannot leave here until Nostalisa finishes attending to the lady and the guy she's there in with. Um, remember you want to confirm your suspicion. So, sit back. Shall go? Be fast though. There's nothing I can do. But I advise you tell your parents about it. Let them suggest possible solutions. Nos, we can't tell our parents. That's the only thing to do right now. And let me warn you, do not try to abort the pregnancy yourself. You might cut short your life. Am I understood? Marital sex that led to unwanted pregnancy, and now they want to get rid of the pregnancy. Yes. Hi! 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 I am so good! Hey! Why are you so excited? I told Nostisi that was exactly what they were here for. She said I was being too pessimistic. I have been a nurse long enough to know when a girl is pregnant, even if the pregnancy is a day old. Hey! Nostisi, mm -hmm. why are you looking like the pregnant girl is your younger sister? You don't know how sad it is to know that the dream of a young girl is about to be shattered. That girl is just 18 years. Uh, in some tribes, girls younger than her age has been given out in marriage. Is that supposed to make me feel good or what? I don't know. You decide what it does to you. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hey! How are you? What are we going to do now? You and I both know telling our parents is not an option. Should we try out some of this local stuff my friend said you should use? It could work, you know? I told you I'm not using any of those local stuffs. And you heard what the nurse said in there about getting rid of it on our own. Or do you want me to die? So what do we do? This is the sixth hospital where we have been told it's illegal. And they can't help. And we can't keep it. I noticed in all the hospitals we've been to, including this one, we've not seen a doctor. Maybe that's why the nurses are rejecting us, because it's beyond their power. My guess is we should try and see a doctor that will listen to us. Maybe he might even reason with us. So we should see the doctor and explain things to him? He might be so lucky. This turning into. I think the parents should be blamed. No, you might not be totally right. You see, major mistakes like this are as a result of peer pressure. Everyone knows premarital sex is wrong and dangerous, but sometimes it's just the kid's fault. 
Oh, I think I'll have to start going, Jerry. Oh, so soon? Yeah, stay with us a little while. I know, I have to go. Uh oh, -uh, why? It's not like you have a date or something. Don't start. I'll see you guys later. Alright then. You came back? Yeah, we'd like to see the doctor. Um, the doctor should be in his office any moment from now. Okay, we'll just wait for him to come. We'd like to see him. Why would you like to see him? We just wait for him to come. Yeah. Okay. Okay then. Um, your sister, I need to check up on some patients in the ward, so. Okay. Nasa we go. Bye bye. Mm. All right, now nasa we go. Bye bye. <laughs> no. Mm. I think I'll just stay and see you guys <laughs> first. Ah. Uh -uh. mm. You're not in a rush again. No. Mm. Why did you change your mind about living? Ah, I came to find out what those kids came to see the doctor for. Hmm, I knew it. I knew that was why I changed their mind. Busy body. Mm. Hey, thank you. But do you really think the doctor's going to help them out? I don't know. We'll just wait for the doctor to resume, then we'll find out ourselves. Wow. Hey, now, Siti, now, today they call you. She said, make you bring the file of the patients where they were there. And make you bring the medicine and the injection when they're right uh, for the file to come. No, no, no. Okay, no problem. Mm. Um, I'll just meet at the reception, eh? Okay. If you had listened to me when I told you, let's wait till we're ready to make babies before we had sex, this wouldn't have happened. This is not the time to apportion blames. If you had told me you were not safe, I would have used protection. As if I know anything about being safe or not. Mm -hmm. So, you don't know anything about being safe or not? Did your mother tell you? No, she didn't. And that's because I don't know who my mother is. I grew up with my dad and he doesn't have time for me. And you, young man? Is it that you don't know who your father is to or your father told you about it and you chose to ignore? My parents never told me anything about it. I learned everything I know from school and from friends. The only thing my parents made available for me was money, not their time. Mm. So is that why you want to see the doctor? Oh yes. I'm hoping maybe you could understand and help us. You are wrong. The doctor won't do this even for 15 million naira. Nurse, please help us. We're not ready to become parents and I'm not an inch ready for motherhood. We don't even know anything about being parents. I just entered into the university. It's a big mistake. If you get to realize, you know that getting rid of this pregnancy is the best. And if our parents get to know about this, that means we are finished. And I hope you are aware it's illegal in this part of the world. Yes, we've been told. But if you reason with me, you get to realize that getting rid of this pregnancy is the best. We must just be forced to marry each other. And we are far from ready. The psychological effect alone will ruin our life. Nurse, please, consider the fact that it's legal in some part of this world. Eh, then go to the part of the world that's illegal and get it done. Nurse, please, whatever happens, we are not going to keep this pregnancy. It's just that I don't want to try some of the solutions our friends suggested to us, because it might cost me my life. But if I'm left with no other choice, we're going to get rid of it on our own. So please, save my life and help us, please. The way this girl just spoke with me at the reception really touched my heart. I really think we should help her. No, you don't understand. She said if we don't help her, she will get rid of the pregnancy herself. What if she takes the wrong drugs and concussion in an attempt to get rid of this pregnancy? She would damage her womb or even kill herself. Don't you think as professionals we should help her so she could be alright? Nice speech, but I still insist we don't do it. I know it's against the law, but laws are meant to be broken. This Abigail is too risky. Have you asked her how old a pregnancy is? No, I didn't ask her. But I thought she knew since you attended to her first. <sighs> I did not. I was so confused and disappointed when she told me her age. Okay, let me go and ask them. But I really think we should help them. So how, what do you mean you're not sure how old the pregnancy is? Haven't you carried out the test? 
No, but I guess it's two to three months old. So how are you very sure you're pregnant when you haven't even carried out a test? My period came for just two days last two months and that's not normal. And it did not come at all last month and I'm yet to experience it this month. I asked a friend of mine, she asked if I've had unprotected sex recently, and I said yes. She told me I was pregnant. Come with me. She's not pregnant. She just had a little change in her menstrual period. Nothing serious. As a result of her hormonal imbalance, just have to see a doctor to correct it. Are you serious? No, I'm joking. Now, listen, both of you. You escaped it this time, but don't ever make such silly mistakes again. You almost ruined your lives. Thank you very much, Nos. We know better now, and it won't happen again. Nos, thank you very much. Oh. Ross, please, take this money. <laughs> it's for helping us out. No, 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 no. She already paid for her pregnancy test. <laughs> I did nothing for it to pay me. No, Ross, you did. If you have not tried to help us, we will be looking for solution blindly. Please, take this money. It's for my heart. Please. Okay, if you insist. Thank you. 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 Thank you.